We tend to focus on companies that have a lot of cash, at least of late, especially on their balance sheets. How important is capital allocation for these businesses? Capital allocation is paramount. Um, there's actually a wonderful book called The Outsiders written by Thorndike, which I think actually is a poignant piece that speaks to just how important capital allocation is over time. We as shareholders and shareholders of Royce funds uh, have a implicit and explicit contract with management and so day in day out we come in and so assess whether management are making the appropriate capital allocation decisions over time. The tools that management have are obviously buybacks, dividend policy, mergers and acquisitions and perhaps most importantly to the extent that we uh, at the Royce Funds look at the entire business cycle uh, what they do with their own cash. Do they actually build it at the appropriate points in time in the business cycle uh, and do they invest it at the trough portions of the business cycle. So how does that all fit into our view of risk management? Risk management's critical. We are risk managers um, first and foremost. We're obviously dealing with small caps. They are fragile businesses for sure. We at the Royce Funds are attracted to those companies that are profitable. Interestingly enough, upwards of a third of the underlying index are businesses that don't make money. In addition to that, we obviously are quality focused. So again, we're attracted to businesses that have strong business moats and differentiated business models. These are time-tested, self-funding businesses. So if you take those two overlays in terms of how we look at risk management and you apply a very strict valuation parameter on top of that universe, in addition to having the downside protection in terms of strong balance sheets, we think all in that's a wonderful way to manage risk within this zone.